Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Motorhead Garage is presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Thank you once again for tuning in to Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now I've seen the name Amsoil at the racetrack and a lot of places on motorcycles, snowmobiles, uh, all kinds of power sports vehicles, Len. But you guys are so much more than, than just racing and power sports, aren't you? That's correct. We have products for anything from your string trimmer all the way up to over the road trucks. It's really anything in between we have product. For a lot of folks that haven't heard of Amsoil, it's been around for a long time. It is, our founder, Al Amatuzio, uh, he was a fighter pilot uh, in the National Guard in Minnesota, and he noticed that they use synthetic oil in those jets that he was flying. Well, when he got out, he decided, I'm gonna try that with vehicles. So he got to work, he started formulating product, and lo and behold, 1972, we got the first API certified motor oil. So the first one out there, there's synthetics everywhere now, but Amsoil was the first in that game. In the synthetic market, that's correct. And, and the most experienced at it. So what's the development process like Depending on what type of equipment we're gonna test, the process is, is, it can change, but it's very, very similar. I know that sounds odd, but generally we'll start in something small because we know that we're likely going to break some stuff, which we do. We have a large test facility at Amsoil and we break stuff um, and we go through it. If we're looking at two stroke oil for string trimmers, we'll start there, we'll start formulating. And as we break things, the lab is right upstairs. We can make a change, rerun that again in the same day and we continue to formulate. And we use the API specs, different types of specs as a guide, but a lot of times we are looking at the appetite of that equipment for product. So it becomes very, very specialized in how you actually build that product. So you have to get the product itself, you gotta build the oil, then you have to test it in the lab and in the field. So we do a ton of time testing at Amsoil just to be sure that the stuff is going to do what we say it's going to do. How much do you get racers or end users coming to you saying, I need a product that does X, Y, and Z and there's nothing out there to do? A lot, because if you get into racing and you get into some of these different extreme uh, sports, the oil becomes critical because it is what's actually keeping metal from touching metal. And if that happens, wear occurs and things break. And the racetrack, you know as well as I do what's at stake there. It's the difference between winning and ending up in the pit. So we spend a ton of time working with race teams. We spend a ton of time using race teams for research because they are gonna put the oil in these extreme situations that we can then formulate for and make sure that the oil is you know, performing like it should. And so it works in extreme situations like racing you mentioned and some of these smaller engines that, that make such high revs and, and that sort of thing. So what are some of the other products you offer besides just engine oil? Uh, we've got everything really, that's the short answer. The longer answer is we've got power steering fluid. We have different fuel additives. We have gear lubes. We have hydraulic oil, compressor oil. I mean, I can keep going here on and on and on, but we really have product for basically everything. Passenger car light trucks is a, is a very big one as well for us. Just your average vehicles that you run into the grocery store in. And of course we have the UTV over here. Uh, you guys have some specialized products for UTVs. We do, basically all of our products are specialized as I was talking about, we kind of tune the product to that particular appetite of the equipment. In the case of the UTV, they have some unique things. These things continue to grow and get more powerful and you're stressing the differentials, the transmissions, the engines. So we have to adjust and formulate to make sure that it, you know, it's doing its job. And the UTVs are a huge market, it's exploding. Another one is we have the Jeep over here is, is off-roading and Jeeps in particular. So what kind of products are folks with the Jeeps using? Well, if you look at that Jeep, it's modified. It's got lift, it's got tires, it's kind of cool looking vehicle. It's but beautiful. if you look underneath there, the axles in that Jeep are still stock and that's common. You know, people go lift and they go tires as they're gonna try out off-roading and things like that. But as you add the lift and you add the tires to it, you start adding stress on the differentials or the transmission and the transfer case. And all of that stress ends up on the oil, whether it's the transfer case oil or the axle or the motor. All of that stress ends up there. And if that fails, you start getting wear and parts break. So you have to consider that, and that's why we try and build these products for what's going to happen to the oil. We take the extreme situations, so it's not just you getting groceries with your Jeep, it's the guy that's gonna put it at a weird angle and make it do all kinds of crazy stuff. That's where we build the oil to perform. Alain, you, you brought a lot of stuff here, and this is just scratching the surface on the line you have at Amsoil. How do I know what I need? 
it's pretty easy. You can just go to amsoil.com and you can jump on our lookup guide. And whether it's a UTV like we talked about or this Jeep behind me, you can find product for both of those uh, pieces of equipment. You just select your equipment, punch in your year, and the oil, the proper oil with the proper amount. I think we even have the torque specs on your drain plugs. It's all right there in front of you. So we try and make it as simple as possible because we understand that this can be overwhelming. You can depend on Amsoil because these guys test it to extremes and I love that. Also, it's made in the USA. You can check out Amsoil at amsoil.com and you can check out more cool products when we come back to Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Keep it right here. Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings is brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. BrothersTrucks.com, your number one source for 1947 to 87 Chevy and GMC truck restoration. Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. NH Oil Undercoating, the official oil-based rust prevention system. And by Bulldog Adhesion Promoter, save time and money with Bulldog. This is Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now our friends at Tint World, as you might guess from the name, specialize in window tint, but Joe, you guys are so much more than that. You've got auto accessories, car stereos, lighting, and as we see here, ceramic coatings. We'll get to the system that you have for ceramic coatings in a minute, but first let's talk about some of the misconceptions that people have about ceramic coatings. Absolutely, you know, this slogan, obviously, we use the same slogan, you know, never wax your car again. Well, never wax doesn't mean not to maintain your car. <laughs> yeah, you gotta maintain your car. It's something that I like to refer to as ceramic pan. You know, you buy that, you don't follow the directions, you don't maintain it, that egg is gonna eventually stick onto that pan, right? Well, it's the same thing with our coatings, any coatings at that point. And then the other thing is the misconception of a scratch proof or chip resistant proof and stuff like that. Nothing is gonna be foolproof. It's gonna be resistant. It adds an extra layer of protection, but if nothing's gonna be foolproof. And something I might add too is a lot of folks don't realize what goes into the prepping of the actual surface too. That's actually the key. The more time we spend prepping the vehicle, the end result is gonna be a better product. And what we wanna do is emphasize that the end result is only as good as your prep work is. And Tint World makes the process as good as possible here with the system that you have here. Let's talk about how that works. Some of the steps that we're gonna take is what we practice at all our franchise locations. And when we certified our detailers to do ceramic coatings, they follow the same process. And first step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash the vehicle. And we're gonna do that with either a traditional soap that everybody's kind of used to, right? You take the soap, put it in your bucket and wash the car that way. But again, technology changes over the years, right? So we've come out with what's a economy wash, is what we call it. And that sounds like what I might want to take with me to a car show or something like that. Just Yes, to so we have two versions of this. One we have is, is a concentrated version. That's what we kind of use in-house. And then we have, for our customers, a ready-to-use one. Ready-to-use is spray it on your car, wipe it down with a good microfiber towel, and you're good to go. So our next step right here is going to be our Metal X. As any iron remover does, it takes those metal particles out of the paint, right? A lot of people skip this process, and this is a very important one because you can prep the car very well, but there's still contaminants inside that clear coat, and you wanna to try to remove all that as possible. Following that, we'll get into our all-purpose cleaner, which is a degreaser. It's also formulated, so that's gonna take out all minerals, oils, and stuff like that from that clear coat. Again, we're prepping the surface so our ceramic coating can bond to that as much as possible. Then we're gonna use a waterless spot remover. The spot remover is gonna take the final type of impurities that are left on the clear coat, whether it be from water stains and stuff like that. And once we got this done, we jump into our compounding of the vehicle. And very important for compounding a vehicle is we wanna use a compound that does not have any fillers in it. It's very important because what fillers do is if you have micro scratches in the car, it's gonna fill those little micro scratches, but when we end up putting our coating on there, we just lock that in, and when that filler dissipates, now those scratches are gonna be there, and now they're magnified because the coating magnifies the paint. Then from our compounding of the vehicle, we move on to our prepping. It's like an alcohol-based one. We start off with 100% alcohol, and then we add 30% additives in there, and those additives is what's gonna help bond the ceramic coating to the finish of the vehicle, the, the clear coat. So once this is all done, we move on to our coating. Now, we specialize in a two-part coating, a base coat and a pro coat or a top coat. Uh, you speak to anybody in the automotive industry who paints vehicles, they always say a two-step is better than a single-stage paint, right? 
while our base coat is what does the initial bond to the clear coat of the vehicle. And that's the crucial part, right? You want that bond to be a permanent bond there. And then once that's done, we add our Pro Coat on top of that. And what the Nano Pro does is it adds more depth to the paint. You get more hydrophobic properties to the ceramic coating. And it just basically is the outer layer that seals everything and, and makes it a good protection on, on the paint for you. And that is the process for the pros that are, that are applying it. The consumer, the car owner is going to take these products with them and this is how they're going to maintain the great look from the, from the vehicle. Correct. So these are our maintenance package ones so that you know you can maintain the car on your own. We also do maintenance packages available for our customers that don't want to do it themselves. They can just come back to the store and we'll maintain it for them. And speaking of the stores, uh, what if someone wants to become a franchisee with uh, Tint World? It's very simple. Uh, we have all the information on our website, tintworld.com and there's a whole section on there for uh, franchise information. You just got to fill out a form and submit that and our, our franchise development department will contact you. Lots of products to make your car look great and also you can become a franchisee. Go to tintworld.com. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings and more great products when we come back. Dragonfire Tools, quality affordable storage. Proud sponsor of our DragonfireTools.com studio. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. You know, I am a storage nut. So when I see a new storage idea, I jump all over it. And this is one of them. This is a lev rack, Ryan. Yeah. And, uh, you came up with this a few years ago. What was the inspiration? Yeah, basically our shop is on a farm in Nebraska and we needed a parts room on the shop floor essentially. So we loved the idea of a mobile aisle system, but we didn't like the tracks in the floor that were an existing system. So we kind of use pallet racking as the frame. So it's all top down. You don't have to deal with gravel or dust or anything in a track in the floor because it's all overhead. But basically just maximizing your square footage of your shop because it's important right for other stuff so this is all in one basically a parts room on the shop floor is the idea behind it and not only you're maximizing the space you're maximizing the stuff you may already have on hand exactly yeah so you're using pallet racking as you would overhead with a lot of capacity and this is our eight foot wide system so it's our uh, eight wide seven tall three foot deep total capacity of the system is around 9,500 pounds and that puts each one of these rated at 800 and then you still have a decent amount of capacity overhead for engine blocks tires and wheels whatever that so you would store up there essentially. What are the different sizes? So we have four spans, so 7, 8, 10, and 12, and then we do a 30 inch depth, a 36, and a 48. So there's just kind of across the board, and we also drop into existing pallet racks. So if you had a wall of racking, utilizing this head down space is a key, because most of the time this level of pallet racking at your waist just becomes a catch-all. You can't reach it, it's three or four foot deep. So this is just utilizing that space better and providing you kind of with a ton of different options as well inside. Let's talk about those options here. Four shelves come standard in each of the units. Correct, yeah, they ship with four completely adjustable shelves. Each one will hold 200 to 250 pounds. But then we also go into some accessories. This is one of our more popular accessories. It's a drawer kit. It's just basically a toolbox style drawer that locks in when it closes. We also have the slat wall here on display that integrates directly into the teardrop. As you can see, it just pops in in six inch sections. That's an aluminum slat wall, so it gives you more capacity for tools and all that stuff. Cool, and we'll look at the next section here. We've got a couple other accessories that you've, you've come up with, and I'm sure you listen to your users yes. and find out what their needs are. For sure, for sure. So um, one of them is gonna be this, we call it a bucket shelf. So it's a recessed shelf, it's a single piece, but it gives you the ability to move these and adjust them back and forth and store aerosols or whatever you need to compartmentalize, essentially, or organized better it gives you that option and we have a, just a hanger hanger rod here so um, whether it's for your garage at home where you 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 know your wife kicks you out of the house and your gear goes in the garage or um, for guys at work where they're storing their 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 work jackets and stuff welding gear whatever um, just gives you a nice um, option to hang stuff excellent we'll go check out the work yeah for sure here. first of all the hook here from from your friends oh yeah gator hook yeah and you can put those anywhere for on sure it just it's, it's all about maximizing space the bench for us is kind of a newer option it's, we call them workstations. Essentially, again, it's all around pallet rack. So you still have the pallet rack frame. We have four foot and eight foot options. So either one, we call it the plus. So the overhead is the workstation plus. Fully adjustable bench, but again, super simple. Um, if you don't want it or if it's in the way, you can pop it apart. Um, completely boltless application. Throw it in the corner if you don't need it. Put it back on when you need it. So it's just the flexibility. It's super simple to install. Two guys put this together in about 10 or 15 minutes. It, doesn't get any easier than that. You can revolutionize the way you work. You can revolutionize the way you store stuff. Check them out at levrack.com. Time now for the lowdown with Magic Creeper. 
Motorheads, the magic creeper, you gotta get one. If you don't have one, you gotta get on board. It's the most useful tool you're gonna have in your car, in your shop, or in your home. You have one for all three, because you're gonna use it everywhere. And I wanna tell you some cool stuff here. Here are the things you can get under with the magic creeper. Your car or your truck, of course, we're on Motorhead Garage, you're doing simple maintenance. You wanna do a visual inspection uh, before you're heading on a big trip. Make sure all the bushings are good. Make sure everything's intact underneath. Maybe you hear a rattle. Maybe it's a heat shield or something underneath. Take the Magic Creeper, sling it underneath the vehicle. You can move forward and back. You can move left and right and check the entire underside of the vehicle. Of course, if your hobby is working on cars, the Magic Creeper is going to help you get underneath. You're not going to be able to do that on a traditional Creeper if your shop floor is rough or maybe you're out on the grass or in the driveway. The Magic Creeper is the only thing that's going to help you get around under your vehicle. You can only find the Magic Creeper at magiccreeper.com. Do not settle for any substitutes because they are out there. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings right after this. Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings is brought to you by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Better battery bolt. You're nuts not to drive these bolts. Soul fast e-bikes. Roll with soul. And by Butt Busters. Extreme fender flares for UTVs and side-by-sides. You know, Joe, the automobile was invented at the turn of the last century, and over the course of over 100 years, rust is still the enemy. Nobody's really figured out how to address it until now. What do you guys at NHOU doing to combat rust? In my life it certainly has been, which was the catalyst for me getting into this business. And rust has been dubbed the longest war. It's really difficult to beat Mother Nature, but what we do is slow her down. And what we do is mainly use an oil-based rust proofing. So if you have a brand new vehicle, we have two options, but for now we'll discuss the oil. The oil is something that would go on brand new or use pre-existing rust. It does not encapsulate the rust. That only allows it to grow beneath the surface. It looks pretty eventually it, it comes through. This will actually go down to the good metal, displace moisture, remove oxygen. As long as you have product on your vehicle, you stop oxidation. Now, if I bring my automobile to you or to an authorized dealer, what happens to the car? You should clean it before you come in. We would bring it in, we would blow it off. It would take about an hour. We'd apply oil to everything that's exposed in the undercarriage, all your body cavities, you're in and out, come back in a year. Is it safe for my car? Is it safe for the environment? Our oil is non-conductive. It is environmentally friendly, no solvents, no detergents. What's the biggest battle you're fighting here? Obviously, we know about rust, but as far as educating the customer. Cultural. Yeah. It's, it's people thinking this through, like, proactively, like changing the oil on your vehicle. People don't think about corrosion until it's, you know, it's a fail inspection or they have a, a structural failure. Well, you're starting your education here, and if you want to further it, you can check them out at the website, Joe. NHOilundercoating.com. Tribotex is a great product that works. If you just inject it into the engine, you don't have to go through anything extra, but Pasha, if you want to take it to the next level and make Tribotex work at its best, there are a few best practices. Now, number one, you guys have told me, clean the engine, make sure it's a clean surface to begin with. How does that work? Yes, you want to make sure that these surfaces are clean. You can use engine flush before oil change, or you can use our new superior artisan bio-based cleaner called PR1. And br one's great because it's environmentally friendly. It is environmentally friendly, it is non-toxic, and third, it is a super concentrate. So a small amount goes really long way. And the second thing, no other additives. You don't want to put other stuff in your engine while you're using Tribotex. Yes, all additive companies, we all fight against common enemy, friction and status quo of large oil companies that produce mediocre product. But it is very difficult to know how different additives will interact. So we recommend you to stay within the same technology. Another one your lead engineer Brian told me about is actually mix Tribotex with the oil before you put the oil into the vehicle, right? Depends on the application. You can inject it where it's easy to inject or you can mix it with the oil and pour the oil through the regular route. 
You won't notice immediate results necessarily with Tribotex. Sometimes it takes a little while, so you need some patience. You're right, patience is the virtue in this case because we are not immediate solid lubricant. We are film former. We build the film over time. It takes about 10 motor hours to build the film that gives you dramatically low friction and all the benefits that goes together with using the product. So when you wait a little, it pays off royally. But in today's society, I want immediate results. So if I don't see it working immediately, I'm just gonna add more and more and more, but that's a big no-no. You don't wanna overdo it when it comes to travel tech. You will hear difference in noise in the very first 15 minutes when the valve train starts to quiet down. But the biggest difference is from the coat and piston and cylinder group, the very slow splash lubrication and rings remove most of the lubricant. That's where the most difference for the long-term effect and the uh, fuel consumption happens and the power. That's what you want to wait for. You don't want to overdo it with Tribotex. Yes, lower amount over longer time works better than more at once. You can learn all about the tips and tricks and how to make your car perform better and how to protect it in the long run on Tribotex.com. Well, we've got to say goodbye, but it's not for long. We'll be back next week, and we hope you join us here on Motorhead Garage. In the meantime, if you have anything you want to see on the show, email Jeff at masterstv.com. We'll see you next week on Motorhead Garage, presented by NHOU Protected Coatings.